This video is closed captioned. Top 10 places to visit in Costa Rica. It comes without a surprise that Costa Rica is on every one of our travel bucket lists, and with good reason. Almost a quarter of the country is filled with sheer and lush greenery, which makes it such a perfect travel destination. Along with that, the country is one of the world's most popular tourist attractions, including museums, theaters, research institutes, and, of course, entertainment places. But what are the must-see places that are going to give you an experience of a lifetime? Buckle your seatbelts as we are going to tell you about the top 10 places you should be visiting when you finally enter the promised land. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please join the bell icon and get notified when we publish a new video. Number 1. Manuel Antonio National Park Imagine a place that has lush beaches, beautiful forestry, and amazing wildlife. How fun would it be to spend your vacation there? If you want to experience such scenes, you should visit the Manuel Antonio National Park. If you want to have a better experience, it's better to go for a guided tour of the park. This park is an amazing picnic spot to be at with friends and family. There are several water sport facilities available to visitors. At night, this place becomes even more beautiful when all the tourists are joining in on the fun. For the people who would not prefer a noisy place, they could also resort to quiet and equally beautiful beaches inside the park. Okay, travelers. The sponsor of today's video is SEOServiceAgents.com. I have negotiated a discount code for all my viewers to get you a 20% discount on your first order with seoserviceagents.com. There's a link in the description. The discount code is TRAVELDRONER. Contact them for a free audit today. Thank you, SEO Service Agents, for sponsoring this video. Now, let us continue with the video. Number 2. Arenal Volcano The Arenal Volcano National Park is one of the most exciting volcanoes watching places in Costa Rica. The Arano Volcano is the park's most prominent feature. The Arano Volcano is shaped like a cone, and the sight of ashes rising from the crater is breathtaking. You don't want to miss out on this tourist attraction since the transformation of an ash cloud into sheer crimson lava can be worth the trip. Unfortunately, this volcano killed approximately 87 individuals and destroyed three communities back in 1968. Because sufficient maintenance and facilitation have been carried out from the tourist attraction, it is regarded safe for travelers. Surprisingly, there is a wide range of species there. Along the site's boundaries, you can see reptiles, animals, birds, and other wildlife. There is also a resort where you can spend the night and enjoy the pleasant views of Arenal Lake and the volcano. Along the hiking trails, you can discover some waterfalls as well. Number 3. Monteverde in the Cloud Forests these cloud forests are a breathtaking sight for anyone interested in ecotourism. This is the greatest site to visit if you want to immerse yourself in Costa Rica's natural beauty and observe all of the animals in its natural habitat. Because the area is cloud covered, there is a certain level of moisture present, which aids in the facilitation of the habitat. The majority of visitors come here just for bird watching, although birds are not the only animals present. There are also a variety of colorful frogs and jumping monkeys here. Wild animals like pumas and jaguars can also be spotted. They are, however, far more elusive than the other animals. Hiking is one of the best activities to do here. Zip lining and cable cars are also available to give visitors a broad view of the area's fauna and flora. There are restaurants and art galleries here too. This location is around four hours drive from San Jose. It can become very chilly here and the temperature will drop, so bring warm clothes with you. Number 4. Dominical If you're looking for a tropical backpacking trip, this is the place to be. Dominical is full of open-air hotels, a laid-back atmosphere, peaceful beaches, and gravel roads. This is the best spot for surfing. If you enjoy surfing, then visit Dominical. You will find it difficult to leave. There's a strong chance you'll need to prolong your stay. 
Wildlife viewing can be done up close, as howler monkeys will try to wake you up in the morning. Toucans will also be busy flying near the pools, which is exciting. There are numerous sellers there who will attempt to sell you things and crafts. Number 5. Tamarindo If you want to have the best time of your life, you should head to Tamarindo. Previously, it was a very quiet and secluded fishing area. However, it is today one of the most popular tourist sites in all of Costa Rica. There are many different types of accommodations accessible, so the money will not be an issue. Tamarindo Beach is approximately 1.5 kilometers long and may be a great area for both beginners and experienced surfers. The best months to visit are usually December and November when the waves are at their peak. Some of the exciting activities available at this location include turtle watching, animal viewing, and zip lining. Another spectacle is over 100 turtles can be seen laying and nesting their eggs during March and October. Number 6. Mount Pais in Santa Teresa Mount Pais is located on the Nicoya Peninsula and is well known for attracting surfers from all over the world. The town of Santa Teresa is the primary attraction in the area, though restaurants and hotels can be found in Malpais. Currently, this location is bustling with travelers and tourists who are making the most of their vacations. Malpais is well known for its beautiful scenery, which rivals that of Dominical. There has also been significant development in the area, making it a popular tourist destination. Number 7. Hako Visiting Hako will make you feel as if you are in a huge town or city, although you are not. If you've had your fill of San Jose, Hako should be your next stop. The beach in Hako is pretty large and nice. The swimming and surfing scene is very remarkable, and the waves are smaller than on other coastal beaches. Hako has a competitive advantage over other places in Costa Rica because of the modernism of its stores and hotels. Many additional modern amenities and conveniences are also available, making this an ideal location for seniors and pensioners. Number 8. Tortuero National Park Tortuero National Park is located on the Caribbean coast, and the intriguing part is that it can only be reached by air or water. This park, located in one of Costa Rica's wettest places, is home to a large number of green sea turtles since it is an ideal nesting ground for them. The most popular pastime here is watching turtles. Unfortunately, this park is not appropriate for surfing or swimming because the currents here are significantly stronger and rougher than in the previous location. Conservation strategies have been used here, and the facilitation of turtle breeding and nesting has aided the process. You can go on a trip with a guide and see sloths and monkeys on the hiking trails here. Number 9. Osa Peninsula and Corcovado National Park Beyond Dominical's gorgeous beaches, you'll notice the Osa Peninsula and the Corcovado National Park. This park was established in 1975, and the path system designed in this park is the most spectacular. It is considered one of the world's most biodiverse regions. Its wildlife includes scarlet macaws, tapirs, jaguars, and squirrel monkeys. Hiking trails follow coastal and inland routes through habitats ranging from Pacific beaches and mangrove swamps to lowland and montane rainforests. This is the ideal location for hikers who enjoy long journeys. Snorkeling and diving are two of the activities available here as well, in addition to surfing. The fishing scene is also good here, so if you want to go fishing and then eat the catch of the day as a tasty dinner, you are at the right spot. Number 10. The National Theater in San Jose it is important to keep in mind that the Costa Rican national theater scene is extremely rich and historical, which is why many Costa Ricans are extremely proud of their theater. The National Theater in San Jose is one of Costa Rica's greatest infrastructures. The building was built with tax money generated by the government from coffee exports. In addition, several European architects and artisans were enlisted to assist in the design and building of the theater. This project was finally completed in 1897, and the structure consists of various statues linked with fame, dance, and music. Inside the pink marble foyer, there are additional tragedy and comedy figures. Murals also illustrate and demonstrate various subjects of life in Costa Rica. Perhaps the most famous and prominent painting on display is one depicting a scene of coffee harvesting, which was created by Arturo Fontana in the city of Milan. After you've seen some of the parks and beaches, you might want to round up your trip to Costa Rica with a visit to the National Theater.
this place is undoubtedly special and historic. Well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do leave us a comment or a like if you did enjoy the video. Consider subscribing, and before you start packing for your trip, consider looking at some of my other videos from other amazing travel destinations. Happy traveling!